tasters welcome to the tasty table so i always keep to my promises and in one of my videos i promised i was going to show you guys how to wash your banga without sanding it and a very quick method so first off i put my banga and water into a pot and allow it to boil for a period of time while i get my mortar and my pistol then i would put in the banga into the mortar and pound it So I just continued pounding it while it was hot because that way it would be very easy for me to pound it. That's separating the chaff from the seed. I don't think there's another method but if there is, please comment below and I will try it out. So I was just pounding it. So I continued to pound it. Then I added little water into the mortar so that I can scoop it from the mortar into a big bowl. So while I was pounding it, I put my kettle with hot with water on the fire so that I can use to mix it. It's always good to use hot water or pound it when it's hot that way it will be very easy for you so i added hot water into it and i just massaged it again with my spoon please do not use your hands this water is very hot so i just continue massaging it with my spoon so once it's getting cold you can now use your hand to massage this shaft so that i can rinse it off very well and separate it from the water so this is the mixture after removing the chaff from it so i allowed it to settle for a while then i use my sieve now this one i'm using is a big whole sieve not that big char but it's just to prevent any chaff from entering into this mixture now take note of this last part i did not pour everything into the bowl because i was preventing this sand or this black thing from entering into it so i tried this method for like five six times before i now use my double net sieve i'm sure you can get this from the market so i now poured it into the double net sieve okay then i just use my spoon to make it flow fast and this was the paste that was remaining i did not use this part what i just did was put it in a different bowl and mix it with hot water and also use it again in the sieve that way i'll see get more banga water out from it so i just did this method different times and i had a sandless banga you see this step is very easy try it out and let's see how it went for you thank you all for watching do not forget to like comment and share bye